Hello, um, I hope you're doing well and um, <clears throat> first I wanted to talk about Black Lives Matter and um, that I will be having resource lists down below in the descriptions that I would suggest you to check out. Um, there's information about the movement. I will also have uh, another research list that's called um, Say Their Names. Um, there's information, like I said, there's places to donate and places to sign petitions. Um, I would prefer if you would uh, rather sign petitions than watch this video, to be honest. It's a lot more important. And um, yeah, um, and I know that it might be exhausting that everybody talks about this, but I don't know, like, can you just imagine how exhausting it must be living that your whole life? It's a lot worse than just us being uncomfortable for a while. And um, it's better to just continue uh, fighting for this rather than just try to go back to normal. Because normal, after all, is... Uh, was not a nice place, it was not a safe place for black people. I would appreciate if you would check the links below. And if you would like uh, to watch something maybe, I would recommend... Uh, there's a documentary on Netflix called 13th, I believe, which is really informative. It's packed with information. Other than that, I regret eating porridge in the morning because it's 27 degrees here and I'm in the highest floor on this building and it's super warm and I've closed all the windows because I need to I wanted to talk to uh, you and there's construction work happening outside so I wanted to make a Q&A before and I had asked you questions on Instagram but since stuff happened and I wanted to make more space for the important information I didn't make it and I don't know if I'm gonna upload it um, but yeah <laughs> today we're gonna go for a picnic outside too um, I've made uh, some pasta thing with spinach sauce yesterday so we're gonna eat that and some salad I don't know. <laughs> I also wanted to say thank you. I think I always say in every video thank you, but I'm really thankful um, that there's you people who even bother to spend a few seconds or minutes of your day to just see what I do. Uh, it's so kind. Uh, I'm, I'm so thankful. Thank you. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, it's weird. And, uh, oh, I also had a shop update of... Oh, no, wait, 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 we haven't talked for so long. Ah, so I made a website, a shop website thing, and um, uh, it was hard to do because I had to learn HTML a bit, like some basic stuff, and uh, there's like some code that I couldn't understand and I didn't know how to change and yeah that took a bunch of time but i think it looks nice now my website you can see it like in the description i think but and and there were so many people that um said really nice things about it which makes me so happy because like i spent so much time on it <laughs> you know um yeah and um what else oh and i had the shop update and it went really well and there were a bunch of orders shipped last week which i'm very excited to um for them to arrive so i can get some feedback on the booklet on my new booklet um because i spent so much time on that one too i had written so much stuff for that one that i had to actually erase delete stuff because it didn't fit I already have four more pages than my last booklet on that one. It's like 24 pages and my other one was 20. So yeah, 
I, I hope uh, I hope it's good. If you are interested on my new booklet, it's still in my shop. I have so many that I don't they're not gonna get sold out this time. It's about herbs. Uh, I was learning a lot about herbs on early spring and I wanted to share that kind of stuff with you. I actually I always do that like I'm very interested about something. And then I will make something about that and uh, now I kind of make it in a booklet so that I can share with you. Uh, it's not lonely my, myself. <laughs> uh, that, that was also with tea, like I was obsessed with tea on, in winter time so I made the booklet, the tea booklet. And I was obsessed with uh, picking herbs so I made the herb booklet. <laughs> and it's uh, there's some herbs that are easily identifiable um, that you can find outside and pick them yourself. There's information about how to identify them, how to harvest them, how to cook them and make stuff out of them. And uh, what else? Um, oh, I got a new sketchbook. It's this boy. Um, and uh, if you have seen my, I don't know, I don't think I have talked about this on YouTube, but uh, then again, I, all of you are from Instagram, so <laughs> you pro some of you probably know, but I had this tiny one, which is extremely tiny. Um, it's like pockets, pocket size, and I was drawing in here, and the bad thing about it, even though my drawings are small they there was only like a certain size that I could draw and it didn't really like it because also the Moleskine these are Moleskine sketchbooks they have my favorite paper um, they are pretty expensive so if you want to buy this one it's like 20 euros something and it's gonna last for two or three months so it's not worth it at all I didn't feel like it was an actual sketchbook because I also like to decorate my sketchbooks and there was not a lot of space because if you draw something um, in here there's not a lot of space left for you to decorate and put collages of papers and whatnot uh, so I cut some pages from this one and I transferred them here so I can make collages and stuff like this is one page for example there's the bird that I had made and there's some hands and some flowers and some washi tape that I found. Oh, and this is my favorite washi tape. I don't know if you can see, but it's white and it has white dots. I love it. Oh, it's the same one here, actually. I, I like it so much. I want to write here Elisa's sketchbook because I had written the same one on a really old sketchbook that I had on the first page. Um, so yeah, I think that's cool. I don't know. <laughs>
wanted to show you this booklet this is my newer booklet um, this is the name I can show you a bit how it's inside um, it's a bit hard to flip through because I haven't cut the pages here yet but yeah This is what I'm gonna be taking on my picnic. Uh, there's some salad kind of thing. I didn't put something on top, it's just uh, vegetables. It's uh, uh, radish and the thicker part of spring onion and tomatoes. And then this is pasta with uh, spinach sauce. Um, this is chopsticks. I put them in wax wraps thing. Yeah, I'm taking chopsticks because I tend to eat smaller bites with them uh, because usually if I have a fork, I just stuff myself with a bunch of food. Oh my god, I forgot to put nooch. Okay, uh, so that's what I'd be taking. Maybe I made too much pasta, I'm not sure. I'm used to make for two people, but my boyfriend right now is not here, so... I wanted to talk a bit about my process here. Uh, I will start painting the clovers here, around here, um, like I did on another painting that I... Painting, well, it's uh, just a drawing, I guess, uh, like here. I really liked how they turned out and I will probably do the same here. Although they are a lot smaller, I will try to kind of get the same effect. I have this brush which is extremely tiny. It's not an expensive one, it's, just, it's from this brand, I don't even know that brand. And then I have another one which is also a cheap one. Um, I got this one from Finland. Um, and I don't know, I, just, I, just, I think I just got it because it's green and I like green. And other than that, I have two water jar things. Uh, one I have for dirty water, like when I want to wash color paint from my brush, I use this one. Uh, and then if I want clear water or if I want to add more water on my paint, I use a clean one. 
the jar is not that clean, <laughs> but um, it's okay. It's clean water. <laughs> I use gouache even for, as a, for watercolor techniques because they have some sort of texture when they dry because some watercolors dry really even and nice but I like having texture so I use these if you have seen uh, people who make their own watercolors their paint usually dries really nicely with like really cold textures but unfortunately I cannot afford things like that yet so until then gouache is what I use I will show you a bit and explain how I do these. First, I paint the one layer, the lighter one, which I've done two here, you can see. Then I'm gonna do the second layer, which uh, is gonna include leaving the line that the clovers have and just painting like the top and the um, bottom of each leaflet. And the last one is just adding shading. Um, every clover is shaded with a black differently, if you see. So this is also going to be a draw this in your style challenge thing uh, that I will upload probably tomorrow or today. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, so it's probably up by now. If you wanna try to do it, uh, I encourage you to do it. Even if you don't draw at all, um, you can try, I will not judge you or anything. Uh, I will actually be extremely happy to see you draw. Because um, I think drawing is really cool and I bet if you don't draw and you try it, it's gonna be interesting, you know? Yes. <laughs> 